Hi everybody, welcome back to Rowan Town. It's been a while since I made the last video, but uh, today I am doing something a little bit different. I have decided to have a look at adding a stay alive to my class 800 dummy car. Why you may be asking? Well, simply because as it goes over points, the sound drops. And this is down to the fact that it's only got one set of pickups on it. The pickups are at the front set of bogies only, and there is nothing at the rear. So when I purchased this unit, I did use Hattons to install the decoder. And as you can see, it's actually been fitted to the underneath, uh, and it all fits underneath a little panel like so, which is screwed in and is meant to be kind of, I guess, an easy way of adding in the decoder and speaker. And as you can see, uh, they left a little bit of grit and stuff in and around where they cut out the hole. And the reason for this is actually there's not quite enough space to fit everything when the circuit board is also in situ. Now the seats are simply held in with three screws. Uh, when you take it all apart, the screws are all slightly different sizes. Uh, these are the largest ones that fit in. And as you can see, the three screws are in those particular locations. My plan is to add a stay alive unit. Now, there's not a great deal of space available. Uh, this is the stay alive unit that I have purchased. So my plans are, I'm gonna simply put a little black tack in it and stick it in here. Uh, you won't really be able to see that at all. So I've just got to solder that up to the relevant pins on my lock sound four. I believe there's a couple of CVs that I also need to add in there as well to make it work. As you can see, to uh, connect some of the lighting for the red and white uh, light that's on the top of the actual uh, sort of train cab area. You've got a couple of pins here and they do actually fit in a, a set of connections or like so into the unit itself. There's an awful lot of capacitors around uh, on all the boards, uh, as you can see. I'm not really sure what they're for unless they're suppressors, but or maybe they just help the lights stay on. I'm pretty sure they do flicker though when I'm using it. But adding the stay alive, I'm hoping will help the sound because it does cut out when you jump over some some of the double slips and the points I've got around the area, especially when it's coming in and out of slow areas. It tends to be a bit of a problem and I really do hope this is gonna improve it. I'm also planning to do the same for the actual motor car as well, just to help that as well. And I'm assuming it's gonna be a similar process. So I'm gonna get on now and solder up the connections. From what I understand from the manuals, these three pins to the nearest edge of where I need to concentrate on to do the soldering. It's covered in a bit of plastic, so I'm gonna to have to peel that back a little bit and then I can solder in the stay alive. Soldering that was a little bit harder than I expected. I had to change the tip of my soldering iron to something a lot smaller to be able to do the pads. The other issue is because it's a dummy car, it's not got no engine in it. I can't really read the CVs. The documentation that I got, train omatic they're live. Can't put the CVs in because it just keeps them coming up with an error, basically. I guess that's because there's no feedback from the motor. Anyway, put it on the track without the cover on. I'll show you that in a second. And it works, the lights come on. Well, the lights still go off, weirdly. I'm not sure why that is when you lift off, but the sound continues to play. So it's kind of fixed what I wanted to do, but I don't really get why the lights are doing what they do. Don't know. Anyway, hopefully that will mean that the sound won't cut off and I'll show you that as well. Track, one thing I've noticed, I've got a bit of a buzzing sound. I'm assuming that is normal for, for this, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna just turn the sound on. Now both uh, locos are on at the moment, so you'll be able to hear them both. Just changing directions. So they come on. Sounds are all working correctly. Um, the pickups are actually at this end just here. I'm gonna just pick it up and see what happens. As you saw the lights go off, I will just take this one off. So 
now I've just got the dummy one running. Let's just see what happens if I take the pickups. The lights go off, which is really weird. There you go, so it does go on for a few seconds. So what obviously I don't know at the moment is how long it takes for the capacitor to charge. Because there's no motor on there, is that a fair duration for that to run at with the sound? But it will be enough to get it over points that I've got around the layout. So we are looking good. Let me just fully fit the cab on again and um, then we can uh, spin it around the layout and see how it works. Definitely need the pack in the front row. Speed step five, by the way. The lights still flicker on and off look rather annoyingly, even though it's got a power pack in there. Don't have to get over that. I hope you can see this okay. This is the uh, motor car of the 800, the Hornby 800, and you can see uh, it's laid out very similar to the dummy. The only difference is in the dummy they put the speaker in just here. So I imagine somewhere inside the body uh, the speaker is um, available. So I'm just thinking that perhaps my, my new version of this can fit with a bit of black tack in here. Next to it like that, I reckon that can. That's going to be a nice easy job, we don't have to do any further opening up. Well, when I say easy, soldering it is not going to be easy, but the rest of it should be pretty straightforward. Interestingly here, Jumper 3 has got, uh, or JP3 has got something in which is, oh, that's power, okay. So this is obviously a pickup, power pickup from the rears. And on the other side, there is another JP, which must be some uh, pickups as well for the primary. So that actually looks uh, a pretty straightforward job to complete. And I'm gonna give that a shot now. I fitted both of the stand lives. We're now gonna test it across these sets of points. So the stand lives are fitted. I think the capacitors are not big enough. Um, I've given the track a little bit of a rub clean because that's possibly one of the issues. Also, the dummy card is way, way loud. I need to adjust the sound on that one. We're going to give it another run again on speed step five. And let's see what happens this time. So the conclusion there was, clean the track and at speed step five, that stay alive has made a little bit of help. Now, probably realistically, I'm probably more likely to run it at speed step 10 or above to go over there. So I'm just gonna run it back over at that speed, see what happens.
So I think the long and the short of this was the stalos have made a little bit of a difference, especially going slowly over the points. Got some weirdness going on with the, the lights flickering. I'm not sure what that is. The documentation shows something about Susie. No idea what Susie is. You need to turn Susie off if you want to use the SS, SPP with the lock sound for. I think this is probably why I prefer the Zimo chips. You can just add a capacitor to them because they've already got everything built in. Basically, I mean, it does what it's meant to do. One little thing I have noted, dummy car is much louder. I think that's because of the size of the speaker. So I think a couple of um, CV changes for sound, bringing that down would be good if I can get them to stay in there because there's obviously no motor in there to send any kind of, yes, I've done that kind of command, which is rather annoying. All in all, it has been a relatively successful thing. I have done it. Um, it's something I've been meaning to do for a while and I finally got around to doing that. Anyway, thanks very much for uh, watching this video on uh, Stay Alive's and the uh, Hornby Class 800. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe and uh, the like button. Thanks very much, see you again soon. Bye for now.